Hello everyone and welcome back to the finale of my Draft League series. If you've been watching these videos for the past few weeks, uh, I have been doing a Pokemon Draft League and that is pretty much where you and a bunch of other people pick Pokemon out of the pool. So each person has a unique team that you can build for the unique circumstance and now I am fighting the person for Grand Finals. This is for first place, loser gets second, who has won every single battle in this series. So... I tried to learn from my mistakes of last battle, like last battle I fought them in, uh, I was mistaken in how uh, Mr. High Voltage here, usually Zappy, but this time, since it's the finale, I decided their nickname should be a little bit more extreme. So this time we're High Voltage Rock and Roll. My voice cracked there. That was terrible. Alright, so, yep, this time they're Choice Scarfed, Terra Electric, if... Uh, and uh, if I ever get that mud spray out of the way. And this, I'm running this instead of Zapdos as my defensive pivot because, like, against Melmetal and stuff, you know, his stat line is actually more attuned to be a defensive Pokemon, and I can Leech Seed, I can safely switch out in Regenerator against uh, mud spray, I can just infinitely win with Leech Seed, Giga Drain, and then we have Knockoff Toxic. Of course, ooh, I forgot to name you. Uh, top this. This time we have this guy, who actually I'm gonna make Terra water. Yeah, in case I come in and like the guy is using like a uh, the Chi Yu is using a kind of um, fire move on me. Yeah, okay. And then Clab, I'm gonna try to w run a sweeping set with the loaded dice and the scale shot. Um, if I Terra ground. It will just one-shot, and of course, stuff, it will just one-shot the, um, Rabombi regardless, and if I get a scale shot up, I'll obviously be faster than it. And Stealth Rock, Break Sash, does good jam at John Chiyu, so maybe one day Chiyu gets one-shot by the Mach Punch after enough Stealth Rock's damage. Then, of course, we have the end, running knockoff and U-turn, just for that sweet, sweet safety. And Tangela... Let's name you Mr. Man. But yeah, and also this will be better against, like, Freddy Fazbear and stuff. Um, like, this thing. And also it'll be good at Wall and Gallade. So yeah, ooh, I should do the last couple of these in this. Did I forget that for anyone else? No. No. Alright. And then for here, yeah, might as well get those... May as well squeeze whatever we can get out of this. So hopefully I learned from my mistakes of the past. And hopefully I come out of this battle victorious. And with that, let's get into it. Alright everyone, and here we go. It was a tough choice between Tangela and uh, Zapdos, honestly. I've brought Zapdos to like every battle. But I figure, hey, if it didn't work last time, may as well like uh, switch it up a little bit. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. Probably just want to lead with, like, the end and U-turn out. And, yep, figured that would happen. Let's go to this guy. Our... Huh. Actually, he didn't bring Mud Spray, which is interesting. Wait, he didn't bring Mud Spray. Ha! Voltage! Rock! And roll the da -da -da -da. Okay, so he's probably gonna use like a fire move here. So it makes sense to go into clab. Yeah, okay. And now you're burned, but Well, I suppose since you're burned you're not sweeping anyway, so might as well get up rocks. And Hmm. Yeah, I mean I'm just gonna like kinda win now, hopefully. Unless this is Terra Ground, then that'd be bad, but like... Yeah, I'm outy, I guess. Psy Shock. I'm gonna Toxic this. I mean... Shit. Hmm. Rocks are up, so it's not like anything can be sashed anymore. Okay. And now I will get up my Aurora Veil. And that thing is toxic, so that's pretty swag. 
Hmm. Going into this doesn't seem like a bad idea. Yeah, but now I can knock it off, which is good. So I think I will do that. A toxic there. Hmm. I may have gotten too confident too quickly, but like their team is so deadly that there's just not much you can do. A punching glove. Okay, now I guess I'll leech seed. I still have the veil up. I can get hail up at any time. Alright. Guess I'll go back into clab here. Brick break, that's unfortunate, but they did take the damage there. Which is fine, okay. So that's at 86, I wonder how much a Terra Electric Adamant Bolt Beak does to them, then. Either way, I'm earthquaking. Hey! Don't do that. I think I need to go back into this, honestly. Okay, get that up, okay. And now I need to just go into this and start Bolt Beacon, honestly. I just need to start Bolt Beacon. Okay. So I have Slush Rush and I have Choice Scarf. I have no fear here. I have no fear. 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 There we go. Okay, now I'm not going to get swept epically. And I'm going to... Let's see. So they cannot get Sticky Web up, which is key here. I'm going to Leech Seed. Or... Just knock off again, honestly. Because if I knock off again... Um, that could get rid of their Choice Scarf, which could actually allow the end to come in. Yep, awesome. Okay, cool. So now I'll just sack this guy. I don't really need Clab anymore because he's, like, burned. And I think he did his part. Okay, yep. So you are not choice scarfed anymore, which means I can just U-turn here for free. Freddy Fazbear, that's perfectly okay with me. Because now I'm just going to Leech Seed. This thing's chipped, so this thing probably runs Eviolite. This thing probably runs Eviolite, so it's good that I got it nice and chipped. Nice and chipped. So I'm going to, like, Leech Seed, I guess. Okay, do that. Think I'll knock off here. Or just dig a drain, I guess, since I'm toxic. Ice beam, that's cringe. I think this thing's probably gonna switch, so I'm gonna like go into the end. Cause like it has regenerator, so you'd probably wanna switch it out here. Yup, okay. So I think everything is just like sufficiently chipped now. So if I can just get a drill run here, yep, perfect, alright. Get up that Aurora Veil. Or... Shit. Okay, how long is this gonna last? Turn-wise, I mean, okay. No, this was a misplay, I'm going back into this guy. Double Iron Bash, okay, that's fine, I'm gonna, like... Giga Drain here. Okay, because I couldn't, like, sack my other guy there, that'd be stupid. I need Hail Up for at least a couple more turns. Okay. So let's Giga Drain. Again, I don't care if this thing dies. Okay, but I think I'm still in a relatively good game position here. Because now I can, like, Bolt Beak. Yeah, so let's Bolt Beak again. Okay. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. And now I think maybe I can manage... For the rest of this. Okay, bolt beaked there. Awesome. And we got some high voltage rock and roll. Da -da 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 We got some high shit, actually shit. So if this guy switches back into that other guy, then that'd be bad. I'm gonna Aurora Veil here. Okay, that's unfortunate, but like. Hmm. Let's go back into you. Okay. And now I'm just gonna, like, Terra Adamant Bolt Beak. Let's... Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Shit, okay, but that's fine. 
Damn, a Terra Adamant Bolt Beak only did that much. That's crazy. And now I think I can just win, kinda. Because let's do this. Yeah, and then that thing just dies to rocks. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you become a Pokemon champion. I beat everyone who defeated me. <laughs> GG to my opponent. That was a good game. That was a good game. Maintaining hail was most important there. I think they kind of choked by not bringing Mudsdale at all. Um, because that could have stopped my Bolt Beak in its tracks. But, uh, is what it is, I guess. All right, GG's to my opponent. That Wish thing with Meat Valiant was kind of interesting to keep that uh, cube alive, alive, healthy. That was interesting. I think my Choice Scarf really caught him off guard, too. Really, because they quiver danced up, but because I had this combination Slush Rush and Choice Scarf, um, there was really nothing they could do about it. And the Heavy Duty Boots, not Focus Sash, meant I could just one-shot them. So that was a very interesting game. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed my draft series. And who knows, maybe I'll do another one in the future. And with that, see you later. Bye-bye.